In this session, let us discuss about the application of international parity relationship theories. First, let us see how we can forecast exchange rates using purchasing power parity theory. So please take the exercise in your handout uh, 2.1. The spot exchange rate for the Swiss franc has changed from CHF 1.5 per dollar to CHF 1.2 per dollar. Uh, has the CHF depreciated against the US dollar? That's the question. Has it depreciated? If the spot exchange rate for euro changes from $1.18, per euro to dollar 1.03 per euro has the US dollar depreciated against the euro. So let us go to the solution. The exchange rate uh, in time period zero, that is S1 is equal to CHF 1.5 per US dollar. And the exchange rate on a future time period, maybe after one year or six months, that is S1 is equal to CHF 1.2 per US dollar. So the question is, has the Swiss franc depreciated. So when we observe here, we notice that initially uh, in time period zero, we are paying 1.5 francs for $1. But later on, we are just paying 1.2 francs per dollar. So it indicates that US dollar has actually depreciated and the Swiss franc has appreciated. Coming to the second example over here, uh, the exchange rate in time period zero, that is S1, is equal to US dollar 1.18 per euro. And uh, the exchange rate in time period one, that is S1, is equal to US dollar 1.03 per euro. The question is whether US dollar has depreciated. So we notice that in time period zero, we are paying $1.18 for one euro but later on we are paying 1.03 dollars per euro so it clearly indicates that the us dollar has appreciated and the euro has depreciated depreciation is nothing but the decrease in the value of a currency due to the market forces of demand and supply so when demand increases automatically a particular currency would appreciate. When supply increases uh, 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 more than the demand, then the value of a particular currency would decrease and so on. So when these forces are working and if the currency appreciates or depreciates, if its value goes down, we call it as depreciation. But when the value of a currency is decreased uh, by the force of an intervention by the government, it is known as devaluation. Please take question number 2.4. Let us now see how we can forecast exchange rate using purchasing power parity theory. Inflation in the United Kingdom is 3% and inflation in India is 6%. Exchange rate in time period zero is 78 rupees. We have to find out what is the exchange rate in time period one or after one year. So the formula is S1 is equal to S0 multiplied by one plus inflation in the home country divided by one plus inflation in the foreign country. So that would be equal to INR 78 that would be INR 78 multiplied by 1 plus 0.06, that is 6% in the home country, divided by 1 plus 0.03, that is 3% in the foreign country. So when we simplify it, we get it as INR 78 multiplied by 1.029. That would be INR 80.27 per GBP. So the forecasted exchange rate is INR 80.27 per GBP. Let us see whether the exchange rate has appreciated or depreciated. The formula is S1 minus S0 divided by S0. INR 80.27 minus 78 divided by INR 78 into 100, 
So that would be 2.91% appreciation.